So some really interesting news about Search and Affinity and how they're taking a bigger step into Halo Infinite's development and how their job postings have provided more questions than actual answers. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So this tweet has recently come from Search and Affinity. Like so Search and Affinity just tweeted this out, which seems very interesting about the development and future going forward about Halo Infinite, saying, we've been part of the Halo franchise for more than 15 years, and we're honored to say that we are deepening our relationship with 343 and have been entrusted with further evolving Halo Infinite in some new and exciting ways. Join us on our journey and they provide a link to their careers page on their website for the various job postings, which if you take a look at their career posting page, well, they got a lot of jobs available out there. So if you guys are eligible for this, you might have an opportunity to work on Halo and work in Austin or in Toronto or remotely at certain affinity. This just kind of makes me ask the question though, what exactly is certain affinity doing over there well we do know that they have some kind of large scale game mode in the works right now for halo infinite which we've talked about this mode previously on the channel but to keep everybody up to date it's a project with the code name of tatanka in this article from windows central written by jess corden who's an industry insider who's had a lot of credible leaks and information saying an exclusive certain affinity is building a new mode for halo infinite so given that certain affinity have deepened their roots and the connection with 343 this would totally make sense this new mode has the project code name of tatanka so if you heard that that's what we're talking about here and saying several months out at this point and is designed to be a more newcomer friendly experience that isn't as demanding competitively than existing multiplayer modes like Big Team Battle and Arena. It's also intended to entice users who typically aren't interested in Halo, potentially targeting gamers on Fortnite, Call of Duty, Warzone, and Apex Legends, which then you think, oh my God, they're making a battle royale in Halo. And this is coming from Jazz Corden, who's rather credible. And this is basically kind of stating like, they're making some new mode over there that we probably have never really experienced within Halo and it's meant to grab all like the big BR title players into your game. Now it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a BR, but I mean, if you're going to try to get Fortnite, Call of Duty, Warzone, Apex players into your game, what kind of game mode are you going to make? Continuing on saying that this mode will also hook into Halo Infinite's upcoming Forge mode and saying it will leverage existing cosmetics from Halo Infinite's existing multiplayer progression while potentially having a new progression system on top of it, which would be, well, totally in line with like what Warzone does right now for their Battle Royale and their multiplayer. I believe they have two different tracks, if I'm not mistaken. Again, I could completely be wrong on that one. Or this could be just like leaked information that's confusing like the free Battle Pass versus like the premium Battle Pass. But this is the kind of the nature of leaked information. You kind of just have to take it at its word and just interpret it how you think you read it as. Now, often with different job postings, you can find little nuggets of information about what they're possibly working on. Uh, Microsoft definitely does not do a great job of just generically speaking about their job postings. They can get oddly specific. For most of the job postings, they're pretty generic about just like, can you work well with memory, GPU, and CPU footprints and stuff like that? Have you had any experience with 3D you know, math skills and C++? But the one connecting thread I read through all these different job postings, it says for all the extra credit sections, they say development experience in Unreal 4, which is interesting that they would post this tweet saying that they're deepening their roots with Halo, but then all their job postings say that they're working in Unreal 4 potentially. Now, it might be just something similar to Unreal 4 that they actually use, but it seems like all the job postings say, like, if you have Unreal 4 experience, it's definitely extra credit. So quite interesting. Could they be using a different game engine to create whatever game mode that they're working on in Halo? I mean, I thought Slip Space was supposed to be like the new hottest, greatest thing for Halo and like designed for Halo to make it run the best we possibly can. If you want to use a different engine, 
Well, that's kind of interesting. Though it is important to make this known because they definitely do mention this with some of their other job postings that they are, that Certain Infinity is currently working on their own standalone game, but apparently it's like a Monster Hunter-like game with the codename of Suerte, which this could be the reason why they're saying they want to use Unreal 4 instead of Slipspace Engine. But why post this tweet like this with a link to all your jobs and not have it be related to Halo. Now I'm sure 343 will still be the main studio that will be developing Halo and making all the big decisions by what they basically have been using certain Infinity for is by using a lot of like kind of the leg work to kind of get a lot of the stuff done where I think 343 spends a lot of time making like the decisions of what the path and where to go with Halo. Now I'm sure some of you out there are like, wait, Surgeon Affinity has been working with Halo for 15 years? This is news to me. And well, they've been actually a very close partnership. If you don't know what kind of stuff they've worked on, well, as a Halo fan, you've probably played it as it did pretty much the entirety of the Halo 2 anniversary multiplayer experience. You can see some of the maps that they created were honestly some of the best stuff we've seen in Halo, but help bring that modern element into Halo, also being so crucially faithful to the original material and a lot they also like the combat evolved anniversary maps that was all certain affinity as well so they've done some amazing work in halo and i would love to see what they kind of pull off when they have the right you know the ability to make their own freaking game mode off of halo i mean that's if there's any team to do it outside of 343 well i would put it to certain affinity to be able to pull something off like that but seeing certain affinity take a bigger investment into the development of halo and halo infinite makes me kind of remind myself about how like call of duty does their development how many external studios that they have because it's way more than just like infinity ward sledgehammer and treyarch there are a whole bunch of other teams like demon wear high moon toys for bob you got infinity war texas poland and los angeles bees Knox, who's in charge of the pc port activision at large raven software who i believe they are basically the ones that maintain and update the uh, battle royale warzone mode so we could possibly see that sim similar kind of dynamic happen with halo infinite as well because for how large of a game people want halo infinite to be or how large of a game microsoft is planning for halo infinite to be this 10-year plan well they're gonna need a lot of resources if call of duty needs that many resources and generally each halo game as a whole has way more features and options than any Call of Duty game and then has a much more diverse audience that plays the game of, of Halo compared to Call of Duty that I would think you would have to hire like three or four more, five more extra studios to be like a significant part of the development of the game. And it looks like Microsoft and 343 are well, starting to do just that. So is this Tatanka mode that Certain Infinity is working on an actual battle royale or something completely different? Whatever it is, I just want something new and fresh that we've never experienced before in a Halo game. Like bringing back firefights would be cool. Warzone coming back would be all right. But like some kind of brand new experience we've never had in Halo before that's really what I want and I'm really hoping Certain Infinity brings that but what do you want to see Certain Infinity bring with this Tatanka mode? Let me know in the comment section down below. But if you're new to the channel and missing any content from me recently check out this playlist right here. I'm going to link to all my Halo news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.